A big welcome back to all my subscribers and to people that have never seen my uh, tank videos before. Today I'm going to be doing a follow-up to a product I was testing um, a while back called uh, NitroGuard BioCubes. And even though I say a while back, it's actually been ongoing. It's just been a while since I made a video. Um, if you haven't had a chance, you could go back and watch some of the other videos to see what it is I'm talking about. But these are um, a product uh, from South Africa, from Orca Laboratories. And I was using them in my previous tank, which was a 90-gallon. And I was having very limited success with them. However, there was some problems with the tank itself that may have just been a little bit beyond the capabilities of the product. So I never gave up hope, and to this day I'm still using them. And I set up this tank about a month and a half ago, and it was about half the rock came out of my old system, because this is a 120 now. And I set, when I set this up, I had crushed gravel before, and I always suspected that that was the source of the nitrates. So I eliminated that and went with sand. And not a very deep sand bed. When it's actually spread out all evenly, it is only about an inch, inch and a half. Um, I got this little guy to help clean the sand. He's a good little worker. Hey buddy, um, and so I've been having some better results and the people that I talked to at the local fish stores and from online, uh, you know, forums and stuff, the things I was reading on the uh, cubes were pretty positive, however I wasn't able to get those results for myself until now. Uh, I didn't make a video over the last month and a half because, or longer, because I wanted to wait. I wanted to give it a proper chance under proper conditions. So this will be a test that I, I roughly uh, did about 10 minutes ago, so it's had plenty of time to mix. I just want to get this into the light. And... It's, uh, sorry guys, it's rather hard to do this and find somewhere that's going to show it. Um, it's definitely below 20, we're maybe 10 or so, the camera is definitely picking it up darker than it is in person. Um, realistically, in, in person, it doesn't even look kind of as dark as the 10 in certain aspects. Um, this test is hard to really to do because the angle that you're looking at the bottle, the lighting in the room, however, keeping in mind that I used to be 80 for um, the nitrate levels, this is a big improvement. Just put that down there. And since having that drop down so much, I've actually been able to keep SPS corals they, um, though the coloration on some of them is not as good as it is in stores, like such as this big uh, tall one here, was brighter when I bought it, brighter in color that is. Um, but it's, they're holding growth, they're not dying anyhow, um, which is good news for me. And I had been suspecting that it was the nitrates that were slowing the growth down. So, I thought I would do the little follow-up. I have to give a fair review on the product and give it the benefit of the doubt by running it in proper scenario. Because uh, the last tank, really, it just it wasn't. With the crushed gravel being stirred up, there was inadequate flow uh, behind the rocks where the fish waste and food would maybe build up. So those problems have been uh, corrected on this system, or from the best I can tell. I do have uh, this one 20,000K bulb. I have to, uh, I, or sorry, it's a 14,000. I'm putting a 20,000 in. I just got to uh, 
take the time to take it apart and pop it in there. And I will to try to get rid of some of this because it was a used set of lights, so I'm thinking that it had some of its intensity has gone off. So we'll fix that. But um, other than that, I'll just give you guys a quick little peek around and express that I do have my renewed um, belief in the product so far. It's going to be, you know, interesting to see if in the long term it holds uh, still as good as it uh, is right now, or even for that matter, if it'll get better. Keeping in mind that a month and a half ago when I filled this tank, I took, like, basically every drop of water out of that high nitrate 90 gallon they came with me because I didn't want to fill it with all brand new water so it has been battling getting rid of that as well but it all looks good and I just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't give up on the product I will keep reviewing um, yeah that's it I just wanted to show you guys what was going on I enjoy making these videos and every now and then I do have someone that asks, hey, you know, or how's it working or what did you find? So now you guys have a bit of an answer. I always say hi to these guys because they love the attention. Alright buddy. And if you are thinking of starting a saltwater tank, I'm gonna say do it. It's fun. It's uh I'm not going to lie, it can be pretty expensive, but um, that all aside, money doesn't matter. You, uh, you can't take it with you to the grave, so enjoy life, get a big reef aquarium going, and you'll love it, just like I do. Okay guys, well thank you very much for watching. Um, please, if you've enjoyed this video at all, click that like button, because I like seeing the likes. Thanks a lot, guys.